Hello, hello. This is Liam Shieldsy with Wilfie E. Horrig from The Winning Agenda. We're doing a, another game series with this Industrial Genomics deck. If you haven't seen the deck tech, jump back a video and check it out and we'll uh, go through exactly how it works. There's some very interesting things to be said about it. Uh, what do you think about, the, about this hand, Wolfie? This hand is perfect. Basically, the cards you want in your opening hand are Jackson, uh, Crick, and, you know, of course, any economy card. Mm. Um, and usually no agendas, just because it's a slow control deck, so you're not planning on scoring for a while. Um, so we're playing into Wizard. Um, that's... Could that make the Jackson out here quite difficult? Uh, yeah, it could. But I think you usually want your turn one and twos to be Jackson anyway, just so you get more options as to what to do. Yeah. Should we throw a piece of ice on him, or should we get Crick up sooner mm. rather than later? Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to put the... X. I was thinking, if I put the Excalibur on the Jackson, mm. then if they run, then I'll res the Excalibur the next turn I can play and use Hedge Fund. Yeah. So that stops them from running. Uh, and we'll discard a... don't really want to discard a Future Perfect yet. So usually I like to... Dis early game, I like to discard Caprice and Batty just because yeah. they're, of course, not useful until you already have some uh, ice set up. Um, but I'm not sure whether my opponent is... Oh, my opponent is going for it. Uh, now that I only have one click left, I think I'm just going to let them trash it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that bad just because of Crick on Archives, even though they're probably going to expect a Crick somewhere. Um, a Crick can recur the Jackson, um, which basically means that if they don't have the resources to go back and trash it the same turn, we get it, we waste our opponent's uh, resources. Mm. And they have to pay an extra one because there's a face down card in Archives. So we can see, actually, I played against Wizards a couple of times before, and even though it might seem like it's a good counter, like you, three, if you can make your things cost like five, six, seven, then it really just, they yeah. cancel each other out, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's it. Like, like I, I can imagine you would just put two or three more cards there, and it takes slightly longer, but um, the extra credits they get each turn is not really relevant, right? Yep. So they just trash a Sundew off the top as well? Yeah, for real credits. And I mean, Sundew is an important card to trash, but it seems like it might have been better to wait a little. Like, I think now... Now I definitely want to play this Hedge Fund this turn. Absolutely. Then, Are we going to draw a card? Uh, well, I'm thinking either I play the Hedge Fund and then put the Melange and the Remote and the Crick in front of one of our servers, mm. or we draw, then do that. But I kind of want to get this Melange set up. Yeah, good point. I, I don't know whether my opponent's going to run. Actually, I might... No, I want to put the creek in front of a central, um, just because if I put it here, then yeah. I'll have to install the uh, Jackson in a new server, new yeah. Unprotect server. I'd yeah. rather them run into creek and I can put it in the thing. Sweet. That's so good. I think I'm going to put creek on... Uh, Archives is the default place. Archives is it, default. But, like, it seems like a fine choice. But the problem is that it's the least likely. But yeah, I'm still going to put it there. And then I'm going to hedge fund and... hmm. What sort of things do I expect they might have? I, like, I think they're very long credits. I think next turn we can just expect them to gain credits, maybe throw down a daily cast or something. A, a daily yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, let's put this melange in server one. I think if they run it, it's okay, because we can res Excalibur if it's early, and if not, then um, like they don't really have that many good things to do. Mm -hmm. Like It is a bit annoying that we have this future perfect here, but them, especially against this kind of deck, you really need to build resources up early, so... Um, running just for random accesses isn't really that um, good for them. Mm. And uh, they scored a one-pointer, but if you actually go back and look at the agenda distribution, it has three Vanity Project, three... That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Yeah, three Va Vanity Project, the 6-4, three for Future Perfect, and one Cronus Project. And so that means for the runner, the only benefit of scoring Cronus Project, barring anything strange, is that they can... That means they can score two Future Perfects to win. And it's hard enough to score two Future Perfects anyway that it doesn't really make a huge difference. Yeah, the the threat of Vanity Project is much higher there. And with this spread of uh, agendas, the sole one-pointer is not a threat from to that, is it? Yeah, no. Uh, like, as I said before, it can matter a little bit, but basically not. Yeah. Um, so I think now that we have an opportunity, I'm just going to melange. It is a bit annoying because they are going to run, but they might run early just to um, see, get a better idea, like run early if it's a, say, a barrier that bounces them they can play there yeah absolutely so there we might have a chance to get them with the excalibur and it is important to note that they did see the crick on r&d 
So they probably will try and install a Kogo breaker before running any new um, iced servers just because I'm sure they really don't want to run into a crick, which we can use to our advantage. Mm. And with the Mimic down, we could either see... Uh, I suppose we could see an old data sucker rig with potentially Yog. So in which case, Krig's not going to be very useful unless it's on Archive specifically. But also Mimic is housed quite well in the Faust rigs and in the Keyhole rigs. Well, uh, So we could really see any kind of rig out of this just because Mimic is so kind of superfluous. Yeah, I think it's too, everywhere. too early yeah. to tell. Yeah, Since our opponents have literally only played two cards. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going to put this uh, Ashigaru? Uh, usually I like to put it on the remote just because it's so fat. Yeah, it is pretty fat. Eh? Um, but what's going on? Ah, uh, they forgot to take from their wizard, I think. Oh, no, 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 they're just, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that's cool. Um, all right, just because, but I do want to protect my centrals at some Absolutely. point. So. Well, now you have two, right? Yep, so I think I'm going to start by drawing Sundew, perfect. Um, then I'm going to put the Sundew on server one and the... Are they going to run if I... No, because, yeah, I think I'm just going to put the... Actually, I might put the Crick on server one now, because now they can't run... Uh, I don't know, it still has the same problem. Like, But the thing is, now that they know about the Crick, they're unlikely to run here, because I'm going to res this on you before. Mm. Well, why happens. don't you put your Ashigaru on there and phase it out as the Crick? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yep, and then res the sundew. Yeah, and we still have enough credits to res everything. Mm. But and I do, of Maybe course... one day when they come for the sundew, your server will be fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, sundew might be bugged on jinteki.net. We haven't worked it out entirely, but you, it might be the case that your opponent... You get the credits even if your opponent makes the first run on that server. Oh, okay. That seems to yeah. have happened sometimes, but we're not certain what causes it. Choose amounts... Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. That's cool. Uh, we will spend... One. Zero. Yeah. yeah cool. That's like, I'm fine if they want. I'm going to spend alternate between spending one and two, I think. Yeah. Like, credits really, it's really easy for this deck to get credits between Melange, Sundew, and Pad Campaigns. Mm. You just care about time mostly. Mm. Yeah, I think now I'm going to spend two. <laughs> mm. Zero. Like, yeah. He's trying to vamp you down, Wolfie. Like, I could. I don't know. Like, should I spend one or two? Yeah, bid one, bid one. All right, but then there's yeah, they're sweet, sweet. Yeah, they're they're doing the me strategy. Yeah, yeah, always bid zero. Yeah. But to be fair, you usually do it with a desperado, and it starts looking like a siphon, right? Yeah, this is, this is the problem though. <laughs> then they spend one. Well, you said you were going to alternate. Yeah, I was going to alternate, but then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, who knows? I, well, I didn't mean like alternate as in like one, two, one, two. I meant that oh, sometimes sure, I do sure. one, sometimes I do two. Yeah. Um, okay, this is a little annoying. We need a, a book of random numbers. Just yeah, one, precisely. Two. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to start by drawing. Then I'm going to put... I really want to start showing up these Absolutely, servers. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm going to put this on R&D and this on HQ. Uh, and then we'll gain two credits probably from this. Yep. And then we can raise the Ashigaru. Yes. Unless they run through the other Ashigaru that we can't res without the money. Oh, yeah, right. But, you run. know, who knows? Yeah, yeah, like... yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they still spend their whole turn to score a future perfect, like, and lose us some credits, which is not the best for us, but it's still okay. Hmm. I suppose that's kind of on par with what would happen if they had... Uh film critic as well like if they went install film critic run right move, take two to move off and two clicks to move off yeah, yeah. um cool well ELP, ELP? ELP is a yeah. great card to draw but we're a little low on uh credits right now yeah um so how I many face downs do you have I have one mm. just the baddie so I think I might draw a card genetics pavilion uh is that useful I don't really is... see it being oh maybe because it means I can't down draw resin. Yeah, then it costs five plus one. So yeah, maybe actually I'll draw a card again and then install it and res it. Mm. And then discard a... I could see a Caprice going out here. 
Yeah, two two doesn't really make isn't really necessary. Yeah, like I feel like a, a run on this um, Sundu server is gonna have to come at some point, yeah. and then you can just follow it up with a melange. Yeah. Do you find that the hand gets really well tailored as you draw through these cards, or are there enough things that you want to get moving that um you still have? Or rather, are there enough things that you want to get moving that instead of settling on like five cards that you just hold? Does it tend to change up? Uh, yeah, it tends to change because you, most of your things are assets and like you want to try and build your board. So mm. it's not like you don't have very many things that just sit in hand waiting for the right time. Okay, so the first thing they're going to do is run. So I think that means that we need to set our credits down. Mm -hmm. uh, then no more action. But the uh, Excalibur is going to fire if they go through that and they're not going to be able to attack this uh, genetics pavilion. Yeah, and they have to pay one real credit which is still fine since next time we can put the melange in it yeah so it's actually looking it's fine uh, yeah i think it's looking bad. pretty positive all things considered yeah and then next turn we can maybe draw install an elp do you want to try and get ahead on credits at the moment just to shore up r&d uh or do you think they're just not going to run well not necessarily at the moment because of it uh, it's caliber but Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Like, the thing is with ELP, running is really bad. Yeah. Like, especially when you're just trying to get random access. Yeah, yeah. Face checking with ELP in play is the worst. And they don't necessarily know that we have only vanity projects, so mm. they might, like... Oh, but I guess it's kind of... Once we play ELP, it's kind of, obvi kind of obvious, I think. That you're playing vanity projects? Oh, well, that we have, like, five for threes or whatever. Like, the problem is that if they run and score an agenda and don't um, hit, then it kills the ELP, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but that might be an incentive for them to run. Well, like, if they run and score an agenda, killing the ELB is not our issue because they'll only win the game. Well, sure, but yeah. they might think it is, and they might run oh, to see. kill the yeah. In yeah. ELB. Can I still draw? No. Is that right? I actually don't know. Uh, yeah, cannot... because this says draw two cards, and this says the runner can't draw more yeah, than two yeah, cards. Yeah. 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 So it looked like if they stifled for their rig as well we might actually be able to pull ahead here yes yeah, yeah cool that's uh, interesting using our genetics pavilion as like a tempo play don't you think uh i guess so i mean i, I don't know i'm it's a, such a strange card yeah like, it is and it just seems out of place in a deck where you don't really try and kill them with net damage like mm. i don't know um but anyway i'm definitely gonna put the melange somewhere i can yeah, I think I am going to play the ALP just because, like... Sweet. Well, uh, I don't know. The draw, thing is that they card. can't draw cards anyway. Draw a card? Yeah, all right, yeah. draw. Sweet. Uh, okay, perfect. perfect. Doesn't, wait, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so let's do it. And then put this melange in. No, yeah. but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, right, because it's... But they can trash it yeah. for free. Yeah. I don't know. But you've got that's what the ALP is for, right? To protect it. Yeah, sure. All right. Um... I yep. thought that was the entire decision. That was that was the entire decision, yeah. But you said that maybe it might be bad to gain credit, but gaining credit so bad, so whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And they don't know that's a melange, obviously. I don't think it was necessarily better. I was asking what. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm just I didn't think of it until just then, and I thought maybe it would be better, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I don't know what they can't do this turn <laughs> if they can't draw cards. They don't have liberated anymore. I guess they have to run maybe who knows they might just have to run one there yeah if they can't use that click unless they actually want to use that click to gain a credit but they could spend the turn oh there we go <laughs> uh just so you guys know elp currently isn't um automated on gentechi.net so you have to remind your opponent each time all right uh let's hope they don't hit an agenda which is very unlikely since there's only four agendas left oh shock <laughs> yeah better yeah I wonder whether they'll trash it. I mean, it's basically the same if you trash it or don't trash it. Yeah. Either yeah. way, it ends up in archives. Yeah. Yep. But they have to spend actual credits to trash it. Yeah. Or oh, only one actual credit. Oh, because oh, there's only maybe, two credits. Maybe, maybe he just wants to run again. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because they have one. Yeah, because we had the whole discussion of, like, what are they going to do with their actions. Yeah. Well, with this click, they can only spend for a credit. Yeah. It's interesting that you think, like... Oh, medium. Ooh. Interesting. Good thing that's an Ashigaru. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Uh, Alright, so let's use Melange. Discarding that ELP. I yeah, ELP is yeah. useless. 
sense if uh, you, it gets trashed by a non-current, you literally can never. Oh yeah, it's one. actually yeah. yeah. You're right though. It's not strictly useless because of hacktivist meaning or whatever, but yeah. it is basically useless. All right. So, do I care about them running to kill this melange? Not really. I mean, a little bit, but I'd. Hmm. I I'd much rather. I really need to pre prevent them from getting uh, medium counters. Medium. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I imagine, if medium had one counter, you would have raised immediately, and that's the position they're threatening. If yeah, you don't raise yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like they're just gonna keep running. So yeah, so like it's the same as raising it next run. Yeah. And bounces. How much is that taking at the moment? Two from the pump. Ooh, Ooh right. fire a crick. I cannot really recommend that, but all right, it's happening. <laughs> Big game. Uh, it takes two to bounce, two to pump, and then five to break. So Would you seven, consider a right? card to pump max to enhance size? Uh, there aren't engine techie cards that do that, right? Okay. Uh, I mean... I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, fires? I was saying to Brian the other day... Uh, oh, sorry. That's cool. I, was yeah. saying to, I was saying to Brian the other day, we need a, a few buttons just here. Uh, all right, so we can install Daddy, Caprice, Sundew, Melange. They have one click, so they can run this. I think I might just install Jackson. It's going to be that Jackson, right? Yeah. The thing is, they can just run it. It's not face down, so it costs them three real credits if they want to trash it. Yeah, Jackson and you, so... Yeah. You can just click in resin if you like. For zero, so... I'm oh, sure, but there are... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, is there anything that punishes things for being face down? I know that there's Dry Queen's point. Gambit, which... No, that punishes... No, I mean, uh, I guess rather punishes it for being face up. Uh, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. Uh, either. Running. No, but I mean, like, for something that costs zero, and they know about it anyway, because you installed it face up from archives. Yeah. What's the advantage to... Yeah, I'm not sure if there is. Because I know that there's Queen's Gambit, which is actually really relevant. Yeah. Yeah, that card's surprisingly effective. Yeah, so I think this turn I'm just going to use Jackson three times. Get probably. back ahead. Yeah. yeah. If we can find another Melange, right? One. Two. And... Um, pad no. in a new server? I don't know. That could be good. Yeah. You're down to two credits, so... Yeah, we need to start generating some credits soon. Discard this shock. Uh, this wall of thorns is probably not necessary now that we don't have a melange anymore. Hostile infrastructure doesn't really seem good against wizard. Mm -hmm. And... They're trashing a bit too regularly. Uh, future perfect, I think. Just because... Now, if they have... Like, I think it's more likely that they're going to... But um, I need that crick. It, like run HQ and then yeah, they can I, I agree I agree and yeah. they can't run here well, actually they could run here now but they're probably not going to yeah I mean that's 9 to trash that genetics pavilion and what 7 to trash that Jackson yeah yeah so at this point with um 4 face downs the regular cost is buffed by 1 again so and, and like wizard decks tend to not be uh strong in their economy when it comes to actually trashing yeah, cards right. in so, non wizard yeah. ways right they, yeah they probably yeah. like yeah if they run yeah but it, um, I don't know. The thing is, it is a bit. No, I think, I think actually, if I they run here, I'm just not going to trash it and just hope that either they get through the creek or I can win the side game on the future. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. For enough turns, like just because creek is strength six. Yeah. It does. I don't see how it does. if we can put an ice here like an Eli. Mm. I don't see how it does like a rig could ever. Yeah. yeah. Like. And it looks like what that's what's going on here. Well, right? I mean, I assume at this point it would have to be. Um, I mean, let, let's suppose that they were pay, playing a Mimic for a Swordsman and playing a Corroda for a um, Wraparound and that they just haven't played out their Keyhole because you've got Nashigaru there. Yeah, right. right? Well, I mean, I'm, like, I, I, I usually like, they don't play Medium and Keyhole, and right? Keyhole. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Makes a run in Archives. Oh, so you just want to let the Crick fire. Sweet. Um, That's super gas. You can put that on. Ah! <laughs> Like, I can... Play the melange. Well, then... Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, right. Um, um, and what we'll have to shuffle in. Well, no, I'm thinking I can put the... Cap no, I can't put the Caprice anymore. Yeah, sure, sure. 
Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, because the credits are just a bit low. Yeah. Um, yeah, and... Cool, yeah, and now we'll use Jackson. And they still, they'll still take the damages from the shock. I see yeah. we don't shuffle any shocks in accidentally. Uh, uh, hedge, fund, hedge fund. And... I'm thinking maybe a batty? Yeah. Would that be good? Uh, no, but because I kind of want to have the one, at least one batty to install. Oh, of course, so yeah. I think maybe... maybe just maybe, uh, no, well, Sunday's kind of useless. Ice is good. Uh, yeah, but I don't want... Oh, it's going to become face-up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's going to be a Caprice, I think. Cool. You want to keep your uh, tutoring options open in archives? Yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen some lists with architects floating around. Have you considered... Uh, yeah, but the influence is already tight because of a vanity project. Yeah. Uh, like it's currently not spending any influence on ice except for Eli, which is basically mandatory. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I see. They ran into shock with I've had worse. I guess that makes running archives much better. But you know, like yeah, it only happens this time. Right? Yeah, or every other time they have I've had worse as well. But hmm. Um. Shop. Sure. No more action. And if they trash it now because they're wizard, you don't have to spend their credits. Yes, but this is a bit awkward because they might run here now. Uh, Wait, how does iPad Worse work with Genetics Pavilion? Have they drawn cards this turn? Yeah, they used iPad Worse. Yeah. I think they might have to put the third card back. I've actually, I'm not sure if this is even automated. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, the I've had worse is, so we might just have to ask him to put one back. It's cool. We'll solve this problem. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it'll solve itself pretty clearly. sense i think so too i think like looking forward losing a click is bad because it's very gameable as a fix like the court plan knowing that the runner will only have three clicks like oh uh, sure on, on whatever those, uh, we can't really do anything yeah yeah oh right, they just moved to the stop yeah but the problem is now it reveals it <laughs> okay well they can just shuffle <laughs> yeah sure sure but that's yeah oh, I, I agree it's slightly problematic like Well, yeah, I guess them skipping their first action next turn is kind of weird because then they can only draw one card next turn or yeah, whatever, like, yeah. which is probably not intended. Uh, all right, hedge fund, that's a good card to draw. Um, but we kind of are low, running low on credits. Well, look, they're, they're happy to run... Um, through the creek. Through the creek and through the server. So why don't we put something in the server? Oh, sure, yeah. Maybe a snare. No, snare usually is pretty... It's pretty, just, it's pretty good in the hand, right? Yeah, I'll just put a Caprice and gain two. Yeah. Just because just next turn I want to be able to play this hedge fund. Hedge fund, absolutely. Yeah, but now they must know that the Crick is here. Probably. Well, they didn't... Uh, they did see the Crick after the first Crick was down. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, because the, the other place it could be is here, and if it was here, I would rest it. Absolutely. Since it can only be one of these three places. Yeah. But you could also be holding oh, it. To yeah, play. that's true. I yeah. could also have not played it, but that's like, seems strange. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, let's raise the crick. Boom. Uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, let's put a. Melange. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I. Yeah, all right, sure. Mm. They can just run in and trash it. That's I know, but it's like the highest impact card if they don't, right? 
No, I think I'm just gonna put a pad in a new server. I think that's a bit okay. better because it actually costs some regular credits to trash. Okay. Was it face up or face down? Uh, everything's face up. Oh, okay. But they just don't. It doesn't say anyway. Uh, oh, gee. Like, I don't know, I just think that, yeah, it's, I think they're going to run anyway. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, sure, no, there's no point rising. Yeah, I kind of would be preferring if they were just sitting back and drawing cards here. Uh, I don't know. I, I think this is, position is still fine. Yeah. So what's our, what's our plan from here? Are we going to try and um, get credits up, up to... Res this Ashigaru, or yeah. So I want to res this Ash like get into a point where I can res this Ashigaru and start putting things in the server, basically. Mm. Oh, uh, so now we can. Yeah, I think I'm just going to draw two cards and then put the pad in your server. Cool. To protect the pad you already have. Yes. Yeah. Oh, vanity project. That's a little annoying, but not really a huge deal. And let's discard this. Uh, I don't know. The thing is that we don't have enough money. You don't really have any money, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I think if you're going to do anything with HQ, four credits wise, it's going to be like, up, hey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they, like, they still definitely can't run through the creek. But mm. it's like... Yeah. But we could see a yog anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if that yog comes down, you just want to be able to respond to it really quickly with yeah. double Eli. Like, I'd say we're only about three turns off being able to score this. Yeah. Like... Maybe a bit more, depending on what they depending on if we have to spend resources reacting to what they do. Mm. But I think that's fairly reasonable. Like, so how many face downs at the moment? Two, two, three, two, 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 two. Yeah, six cost pads. Yeah, so it costs them like if they're not going to run it already, then it costs them uh, a click, two clicks, and three of real credits to trash a pad. Mm -hmm. So where are these Eli's going to go? Do you want to get an Eli on uh, Archives? Uh, just, no, Archives is fine. I think, HQ? Mm, I think one's going to go on HQ and one's probably going to go on the scoring on server. On the scoring server? Yeah. yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. One definitely needs to go on HQ. Yeah. But I, like, since I don't have Yogg or Data Psycho, I'm happy to wait. Mm. Like, I think if that, data, if that Data Psycho comes down, would you pay the... Credits are pretty... Credits aren't really... Um, relevant are they oh they're just running okay all right fires jeez so we can oh god there's so many options <laughs> take your pick i don't know i'm yeah i think well you actually want to start spending um these clicks doing things right maybe it's time to put a sun do out yeah, but the problem is that I can't... Oh, I don't know. I think I want to melange once. Once. Just because if I melange once... Or like, they're probably going to go and trash it anyway. Go, so go, go. Sure anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they could just access the vanity project and it won't be relevant regardless. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, but, you know. Presuming we don't immediately lose. Yeah. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. How much is Baddies to Trash normally? One. One. So they can just trash for free, but use up all their wizard credits. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Which I assume they want to yeah. use. Yeah, and then they won't be able to trash the melange. Well, no, no, they still can trash the melange. Because okay. melange is uh, one as well. And we have two face downs. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know, it seems strange to let the creek... Like, what are they Continuously gonna, fine. Yeah, yeah, what are they going to do, like... It seems like it's only one of the most powerful effects in the deck. Yeah. Uh, so powerful that I've seen some lists playing like three architects and three cricks just to get more of them. Yeah. Um, is it possible that... Uh, I, I guess like in these situations, you would normally just be digging for your code gate breaker, right? But we've said to him, you can't... Sorry, draw. didn't you say it was a knowledge?
And also having none of these cards automated is kind of annoying. Well, not none of them, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of the... Yeah, it would be decent to get this uh, melange off once, hey? Yeah, but we don't. We definitely don't need it. Yeah. It's just, the sooner we can, if we can get it off once, we can start putting this in a safe server. So, why pads and not um, mental health? Mental health, yeah. Uh, just because it costs an extra one to trash, to I trash. think. Just yeah. because it's important. I, mean, I would think that small differences in trash costs are basically uh, negatory. Sure, maybe also that costs why it doesn't uh, give them extra hand size. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't see how their hand size is relevant. Um, so I think I'm going to put this on HQ and just gain two credits. Yeah, that's fair. I think it's hard to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, yeah, I don't know. Like, it does seem strange. Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe, yeah. Who knows? Perhaps in that game two will come back with some revisions. Maybe. Like, I think that the mental health clinic will do really, really well here. Me too. Like, just because the, um, yeah, I think that the power of the identity is making trash costs ridiculous regardless of what they start with. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And three is already a decent amount. Yeah. Like, like th yeah. All right, buddy. What you got? I'm surprised they haven't come to trash this. Um, this? Yeah, this Janice Pavilion. It costs yet. five. Like that's I, I, I know it's, I know it's like credits. a ridiculous amount of money, but it seems like the other option has been to let us fight Crick repeatedly. Oh yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I guess so. Like, considering those clicks couldn't be used drawing cards, maybe they would just be fine. Like gain, 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 right? Gain, gain, run. You know. Yeah, very disruptive. I'm not quite sure. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. So they found the soccer. Uh, perfect. So this server will be secure very soon. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to... I, not yet, because we need to be able to res and fire. Yeah. But I think I'm going to... So would you install this as an number card to it out there on the server yeah, one? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. going on server one. Okay. Oh, are you going to put the Eli there as well then? Or? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the Eli might go on R&D, but it's not... Just because of medium. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this Eli... Um, um, play your hedge fund first. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so are we playing the other hedge fund as well? I think so, but the thing is that only leaves me with three cards in... Three oh, cards, no, but yeah. then we can res the Ashigaru, so they probably can't get into the server, so we can just put the Bandy project in it if they let the Crick fire. Yeah. So hedge fund, hedge fund... Does Crick install from hand as well? Oh, no, no. Uh, I don't know. No, what I was... I thought of... I got confused with oh, Architect, okay. but yeah, we yeah, can yeah, put yeah. Batty from archives here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Crick definitely uh, At least it. have a have a go in any of the run. Yeah, definitely yeah. doesn't install from hand. Yeah. And it won't be cheap either. Like, run, click, ELP, and if they click through Eli and let Crick fire, that's the entire turn yeah. on the side game. Yeah. And a side game to only access something, so... Yeah, yeah that's it. With single access at the moment. Yeah, that Ashigaru's been really good at keeping this medium down. Hey? Yeah, it is a really, it's a good card. Like, big, hefty, dumb cards are actually quite good sometimes, eh? Hey? Yeah, I mean, this yeah, deck like is just all, all, econ all economy and huge things like it. <laughs> there we go. That's what I want to see. Gang, 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 gang. Yep, Sweet. So. And the pads are untouchable. Yeah. And the money's up. So how do you want to do this? You're, um, you're going to need to get to like 30 creds. Yeah, but you don't need to res everything all at once. Yeah, but even just to res the remote. Sure. So, but I think just Ashigaru is already... Ashigaru Caprice Batty is already safe. Yeah. But I want more cards in my hand for Ashigaru. Yeah. That's how much is uh, Batty the res? One? Zero. Zero. So I think I might just draw, see if I can find another economy card. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll draw again, mm -hmm. and then hedge fund. Sweet. Oh, Jackson. I think we actually can start scoring soon. Now, the, how do you score this usually? Do you go like three, 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 three? 
Uh, did you go advance, advance, advance three times and then advance three more times? Did you go like two, 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 two? Uh, two no, two? I usually three. Three in the row? Usually yeah. try install, 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 or have the server already there yeah. and then install twice. I actually had a situation where I had this sitting here for like three turns in a remote mm. because my opponent had Logos in play. <laughs> and so I'm like, it's like, I only scored it when I score, install, advance, advance, future perfect so to yeah, only yeah, give yeah. them one turn, which they had lo like good Logos. What were you afraid of the logo thing for? Who knows? But yeah. like, you know, like anything. I like when you have like Caprice Baddie Baddie, they can't get into a remote. So Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Having it seen there with six like is just sad. Now, how does a uh, Caprice and Baddie work together? Can you uh baddie after Caprice fires? Yeah, you can baddie after Caprice fires and you can also baddie multiple times. It's because even though it's unique, you can have like they never two baddies never see each other. Mm. Mm. So Caprice and Maddie are, are the tag team <laughs> sounds sweet and card drawing assets seem really strong here hey? uh yeah like you think Jackson's really strong oh sure uh, yeah, like yeah. Jackson yeah sure yeah what uh, about got... uh, how, how, how tight is the influence for maybe something like Lily Lockwell would you consider something like that um how, how many influence no it's pretty tight already the thing is that you already like you have more than 49 cards so your influence has a stretch oh it's it spread it's spread thinner over yep. the 49 as well yeah um, yeah Katie yep that's cool yeah and if we can race that Katie as well like, yeah I mean he's... Katie's not a big yeah mm. Yeah. Katie's no big deal just because it's kind of slow like especially at this point yeah but scoring a vanity project is also slow like. uh sure yeah but it's not like the problem is not that it's unsafe the problem is that it's hard to score it while also developing your board to do other things which yeah. is why you usually want a huge pile before starting to do anything yeah fair enough uh okay so now hand is safe R&D is safe Go for it. Yeah, so I can install. Yeah, every server's safe. I have 19 credits. That's enough to raise everything. So I think. But the problem is that if I lose too many cards, the Ashigaru loses a bit of its power. Yes. So I think I might install. Install. Uh, no, I'll just install all three in the server. Yeah. It's. Yeah, it's the, just because uh, otherwise it's not entirely completely safe and like this is still impossible to get through mm -hmm. right? even though i only have three cards yeah like the ashigaru is still stronger than the eli so. yes i mean it's still better than the double eli server and if that was double eli like i'll be looking at it thinking you know no <laughs> yeah never yeah and how many face downs two face downs so yeah they can go in and trash the pad if they want but i think it's already done it's like you know, we're already at enough credits that it doesn't hugely matter if they trash it. Mm. How many um, how many JX pavilions are there? There's only one. Only the one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of it's it's difficult to assess how effective it's yeah, been. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very strange. It certainly felt like there's been a ceiling on the runners' capabilities here. Right. Like their board's been developing really slow. I think. It might be worth testing three. Well, sure, but it's uh, like good in the situation where because it can't take up your remote because it needs to play, be in play for so of long. Of course, yeah. That it's good in this situation where we've already locked them out of our servers, basically. Yeah. Like w you know, when we played it, they ha they already couldn't get into any servers. It just meant that that situation kept going for longer. Mm. Like, but if they could get into a servers, it would be useless. Blank. Yeah. 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 yeah I just feel like you would want that ability more consistently if you thought it was quite good i guess so yeah and and locking people out with this deck you can do quite readily hey oh definitely it's just also it's uh you know unique obviously so yeah 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 uh, sure. and you know yeah so like I, I think the number was probably like zero or three sure yeah all right let's start scoring two three yours <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> fantastic The other reason, actually, uh, 
But the lock might be good here is because uh, Ashigaru would get a big buff. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But you sh- oh, David, uh, that doesn't cool. actually do anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does let them get into archives if they want. Uh, oh, the river man. Oh, uh, it's fine. Such a compassionate, understanding person, movie. Well, I mean, it doesn't like you know. In a real game, that's what happen would happen. They wouldn't yeah, be yeah. like, "Oh no, go to trash something." Huh. So maybe they don't have yog. Uh, okay, so if we res the Ashigaru, yeah, we still have enough credits to do everything. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Interns. Interns is cool. Yeah, interns is obviously great just because, you know, it does the same thing you want to do anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we got? Two the pump, three the break. It costs them all their money, which means they can't get in. Yes. Two the pump, three the break. Four cards, four cards, so four the break. Great. And then you'll pay three to the caprice and the one for the side game. Yeah. Perfect. And, like, they must know that they can't get in. There's no <laughs> way there's three remotes in a server. Yeah. They're yeah. playing against Shinteki, and there's, like, you know, not a single Caprice, uh, Ash, or Batty. Yeah. Or, like, even Red Herrings. Right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Which would also never get trashed in this list. So. Yeah. I mean, Ash already kind of does the same thing, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Ash is just better. Because you can scale it. And just credits are fine. You know, yeah. many reasons, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So that's... Oh, another vanity project. Uh, that means we're... No, we're still safe because they don't have a code. They don't have any so money can... either. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, they, still, they, they have six credits, though. like... Cool. Cool, but it was, mm-hmm. like... This obviously next turn would have been the best turn to draw something, but this is still the second best turn. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what do you think of next turn? Interns doesn't require you to pay the install cost, does it? So you can just install out, ignoring the install cost. You can, it. but yeah. there's nothing that we really want to. Yeah. Because all the ice costs a million anyway. Usually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it might be a good uh, space to get our melange game on if you want to fire those I think that's a bit too slow like yeah, unnecessarily it's... slow I think just maybe oh ash no yeah, perfect um hmm. so I think I'm going to Draw. interns no I don't think so I think I'll interns the um pad back okay oh uh pad campaign Oh, actually, maybe... Maybe no, Sundu would be better? Or a second No, because I wanted to go on Defended. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess a pad won't pay itself off. Yeah, but the baddie in the server would be pretty damn good. Yeah. Then you'd have Caprice, baddie, baddie. Yeah, but we, we have Ash in our hand. <laughs> you can't see because... Yeah, actually, maybe I shouldn't play the interns, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, okay, sure. Let's put the baddie in the server one. Make sure that wasn't face down, and yep. And then install on server one. Yep, perfect. And now we still have the ash in case they want to run like R&D, R&D or yeah, something. Yeah, they just yep. start sinking into it. Um, no data sucker counters, so no threat from parasite, which is fantastic. Um, this doesn't mean it means you don't have to respond to anything. Well, they can get data sucker counters because they can just trade uh, David, David counters, counters for. Yeah. Oh, but they don't have a data sucker. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> it is a nice server yeah. if, I, if I do say so myself oh. yeah you know when you're, you've you got an excel file and you've got that tiny little cell and you start typing into it and you put like <laughs> a novel in that cell yeah, and it starts yeah, to yeah. spill out yeah yeah I get that feeling so I think I actually can just triple advance next time mm. yeah it seems pretty like, safe because there's only three agendas left mm. in R&D two are future perfect so only one is a vanity project 
So they can't go. Through. How many side games can you pay for though? If you spend two well, to res, up to eight, then down to five. Yeah. Then these I don't need to res. Oh, they're just running. All right. Um, sure. Well, I guess we'll wait for that until after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the baddies are two side games potentially, and then the caprice is two plus the side game, right? So great. Right, let's fire the Caprice. What should we pay? Um, Given the disposition for paying uh, zero, zero, I might just pay two. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, just because if they pay two, then we'll eventually wear them out with the baddies. If yeah. they just keep on paying two. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to have to sit. Oh, oh <laughs> that's a little annoying. We might have to sit tight for a bit. Yeah. Um, but look, you can start jacksoning. You can jackson that vanity project away. Oh, I can. Yeah, I forgot mm. about that. And if you can find another pad or a sundew or anything like that, the jackson will protect that as well. So the problem, no, the problem right now is that I don't. If I just gain three credits, the next turn I can score, and that might be better than waiting jacksoning. Yeah. Like because it's still so bad for them to run HQ, even if they can theoretically win. Like they have to get through both of these. And then they have a one in five chance of accessing anything relevant. Yeah. And they can't do it while they're running with less than three cards. Either. And they can't do it. And they cost them an extra click. Like, yeah. Fair enough. All right. So it's, there's a lot going for it. Yeah. I, yeah. I definitely can't Vandy advance three times now. So I might just gain three credits. Yeah. Seems fair. It, like if I draw an agenda next turn, I'll, I will Jackson. Yeah. No, it's good having a server that tacks and so you can like flexibly say no I can't do that anymore yeah credits have gone too low <clears throat> yeah at the moment I'm testing a harmony med tech list with three future perfects and three global food initiatives uh -huh. and um, yeah because there's no agendas in the list you effectively just have like 40 slots for economy right alright uh, they're going they're going again okay it's more expensive this time yeah no I'm sure they they know Four, five. Yep, cool. Sweet. The shortcut tech. Uh, yes, I'm just gonna pay two, and yeah. then if they pay two, then uh -huh. we'll pay two on the uh, on the baddies, and they can't get in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. So, An assassin. Uh, yep. Yeah, um, I could triple advance, but bear in mind you're down to six credits. Again. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But like, if we triple advance, what are they going to do? We still have. Oh, we only have three credits. Three credits is too low. I want at least four or five credits, ideally. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So, could I just now Jackson use Jackson just to remove any hope that they might... I think Jackson's a good way to go, yeah. But like, I don't know, it's still the same position. I still want to gain... I know you do want to gain credits, but not having to spend those credits on HQ and R&D is where you want to be. maybe I'll try putting the Ash somewhere. Uh, but Ash is expensive as well. Sure, but you only need to use it uh, I don't know. The thing is, it's not good in HQ. Like, because you don't want to ash if they only have a small chance of hitting. Yeah. Well, I, I just think that removing a server from consideration here is what you want to do. But sure, right but now, they don't right know you that's have in. All three. They don't know that's in consideration. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't really matter because if they just run blindly everywhere, you're still going to have to spend that, that Actually, money. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is gain three credits and then put the ash in archives so I can crick it back. Okay, oh. yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah. I just think, like, if your opponent does just start running blindly, then you want to not be cold to that. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. But, the, like, the thing is that because we still do have things that we want to res, mm. we want to... These Eli's do the same thing, but also, like, we just need credits for yeah, everything. Absolutely, yeah. And Jackson... Like, Jackson secures HQ, but getting credits secures HQ, R&D, and draws the game closer to conclusion. Yeah. Even if it's not as efficient as mm. that. So how many agendas are left in the deck now? Two future perfects, is that it? That's it, yeah. So R and D is basically safe. Yeah. Since they need 
six, ten, twelve credits too. Yeah, presumably you would too. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they need at least two credits on access hmm. to even have a chance. Mm-hmm. So go up to ten, down to seven. Seven's perfect because it means we can res Eli and still have four for two side games. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen much of this wizard list around lately, actually. Oh, the regular, okay. like, yeah, career yeah, yeah. fair style. Yeah. Careers fairs, clone ships. Yeah, the, yeah. this list seems pretty normal. Yeah, like the, the core set plus good stuff. Yeah. Anarch. I don't know. Yeah, it does seem to have died down a little bit. Yeah. I don't know why. It's really big for a little bit. I guess maybe everyone's, like, experimenting with their, their new pack. Yeah, I guess maybe. Something like, I don't know. It just, it just always does the same thing, so maybe... Yeah. Or maybe just not. <laughs> it's pretty homogenous. Yeah, like. Yeah. All right, they're going in again. Well, I mean, like, if they legitimately realize that it's probably their best chance of victory, yeah, is to win three side games. So it's fair enough. Five minus one. Yep, cool. They worked it out. The game. Ah, uh, Caprice. All right, let's go two. I reckon they'll call you on it this time. Well, sure, but that doesn't even matter because we can just use our baddie. Yeah, but what if they call you on the baddie? Then we'll use our other baddie. <laughs> so they can't get all of our baddies. I hope not. But... Yeah, like I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah. Like yeah. from but, from the outside, all three sound like quite intangible. But like, once your opponent does roll six and then roll six again, no, but it's not that. not even about that because next turn if we just triple advance, they can't. This costs six plus, mm. so they need eight credits to get in, and they'll have no credits, assuming that they bid two, mm. right? So they can't get eight credits from yeah. zero yeah. clicks, zero credits. Yeah, see. Sweet. Yeah, they're, they're realized it as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's going well. All right, so you want to call it two turns from now? Uh, yeah, and because triple now. Triple advance, triple advance? Uh, no, because now we're. No, because now. What's going on? Uh, no, you can't break. Yeah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, cool. So six. So triple advance. Then they run. Does triple advance mean? Die in R and D. Hmm. I think it's the best, just because next. I, turn, I think it's just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll discard this baddie. Oh yeah. Just because in case they run through the creek, we can put the baddie on R&D or whatever if yeah, it yeah. turns out to be necessary. Well, there is already a baddie in the bin. Is that The one you just fired. What? The one you just fired. Oh, the one I just fired. Yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So, look, you can't raise these ELIs at this point just because if you do, he'll run the server and bid zero. Well, it depends how late it is, like, in their turn because of this, it costs them two clicks just to run. Yes. Sorry, not this. So like, yeah, the chance that they'll be able to run, pressure something. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Man, this is tense though. Is it tense? I think so. I think I, I always feel like I'm, there you go. What what do we think our opponent's chance of winning that? Well, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just, whenever I have side games in the mix, I feel like I'm kind of riding on the back of my seat, you know? I guess so, but like none of our side games were like random at all. 
We yeah. just wanted to tax them as many credits as possible. I just stopped the recording. Yeah, well, you, oh, actually, just not yet. Uh, what did you think about the game in general? Uh, yeah, that was good. That's actually probably emblematic of how the games usually go. Yeah, like uh, stabilizing really quickly as your economy comes online. Yeah, you Jack try and... Jake, I think guys helps you do that. Try and stabilize, be efficient with your ice, and then eventually just get to a point where you have impenetrable servers. And gigantic side games. Exactly. Yeah. Great. All right. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, and watching. Uh, so yeah. how do I yeah, stop? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just click that button.